In 1998, Hewlett Packard had fallen short of profit expectations for nine quarters in a row. The company lagged in almost every market category. Carly would step aboard to right the ship, leading 150,000 employees and operations in over 150 countries. Fiorina had a big reputation as a marketing genius and decisive risk taker at AT&T. That made her the top choice to command a high-tech turnaround. Carly was brought on board to reinvent the struggling tech giant, and she wasted no time, laying the foundation for a merger with computer giant Compaq. Carly bet big, and she won. Under Carly's leadership, HP went from a market laggard to a market leader. Under Carly, innovation tripled. HP was churning out 15 patents a day. Growth quadrupled from 1.2% to 6.5%. Revenues doubled to more than $80 billion. HP was now the 11th largest corporation in the United States. The economist Thomas Friedman wrote that under Carly, HP has gone from a company that had 87 different supply chains, each managed vertically and independently, with its own hierarchy of managers and back office support, to a company with just five supply chains that manage $50 billion in business.